This is the story of a doctor who ruined more than 30 patient lives and became the only doctor in history that life sentence. Dr. Christopher Dunch was a newly minted neurosurgeon fresh out of residency and ready to make a name for himself. Unfortunately, that name turned out to be Dr. Death. His career was a series of disastrous surgeries that left patients permanently injured or dead, raising suspicions that he might be on drugs. Here's the full, horrifying tale of Dr. Dunch. Dr. Dunch landed a job at Baylor Regional Medical Center in Plano, Texas. One day, he was scheduled for spinal surgery with another surgeon, Dr. Kirby. During the operation, Dunch tried removing the patient's disc using the wrong tool, and the patient started bleeding everywhere, but Dunch kept going. Eventually, the patient woke up with permanent injuries. Dr. Kirby said he'd never work with Dunch again, but Dunch already had another surgery lined up. Dunch's next surgery was another disaster. The patient woke up paralyzed from the neck down. No problem for Dunch, he just took on another case. This time, the surgery seemed to go well initially. The patient woke up, and her vitals were all good until she started bleeding out. It turned out Dunch had accidentally cut a major vessel in her spinal cord. After seeing all this incident, the hospital administration asked him to take a drug test. Dunch turned in a sample diluted with water. They made him take another test a few days later, which came back clean. Despite passing the test, the hospital decided he was a liability and allowed him to resign. Soon enough, Dunch got another job at Dallas Medical Center. His first patient at the new hospital ended up in the ICU, had a stroke, and ultimately passed away the day after the operation. The following day, Dunch operated on another woman and accidentally operated in the wrong place on her back. She ended up permanently in a wheelchair. Seeing the behavior in less than a week into his new job, the hospital administration asked him to resign. But Dunch just moved on to get jobs at two different places another hospital, and a surgery center. While working at these places, he continued his trail of devastation. He damaged a man's spinal cord, leaving him paralyzed on the right side of his body. Then he did the same thing to another patient, leaving him partially paralyzed from the neck down. He operated on another man's back and accidentally left surgical hardware inside him. The list goes on. During this time, many of Dunch's former patients, now suffering from his botched surgeries, started showing up to see Dr. Kirby, asking him to fix their injuries. Kirby, along with two other doctors, reported Dunch to the Texas Medical Board, hoping to get his medical license revoked. The board started investigating, but it took a while. Ten months went by, and Dunch was still operating on people. One day, Dunch operated on a man named Jeff Glidwell. During the operation, Dunch cut into Jeff's vocal cords, punctured an artery, and put a hole in his esophagus. Mistaking part of Jeff's neck muscle for a tumor, Dunch abandoned the operation halfway through. His co-workers reported him to the medical board again. By this point, the board had been investigating Dunch for a while. When they heard about what he did to Jeff, they finally suspended Dunch's medical license. Without a license and humiliation, Dunch retreated to live with his parents. His life fell apart over the next few months. He declared bankruptcy, got arrested for a DUI, and was busted for shoplifting. After the shoplifting arrest, a newspaper wrote an article about Dr. Dunch getting arrested. Dunch saw the article and responded in the comments with a rage-filled manifesto over 80 pages long. Dr. Kirby also saw the article and Dunch's lengthy comment. He forwarded it to the district attorney along with other evidence he'd gathered. The district attorney decided they needed to charge Dunch for all the botched surgeries and deaths. In total, of the 38 surgeries Dunch performed, he botched 33 of them, a staggering rate of 87%. The police arrested him, and he was charged with multiple counts of aggravated assault causing serious bodily injury and one count of injury to an elderly person. During the trial, evidence of Dunch's gross negligence and recklessness was overwhelming. In February 2017, he was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison. It was the first time in history a doctor had been convicted for botching surgeries on such a scale. The story of Dr. Christopher Dunch is a chilling reminder of the catastrophic impact of unchecked medical malpractice. It underscores the critical need for rigorous oversight and accountability in the medical profession to protect patients and ensure their safety. If you like such stories, you can explore more by clicking the left video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so don't miss out on such interesting stories.